What's up, ladies and gents? Welcome, welcome, welcome. We are continuing on our Let's Play for Starfield. Hopefully everyone is having a good Saturday. It is time to continue. The launch is at hand. We still have so much more to experience, to do, and we've just honestly barely have even, uh, barely have even scratched the surface. Let's take a look at our general. So 11 days have passed in the game. We've never slept. We've never waited. We've found a total of 81,000 credits. I do like how it shows you all of your stuff here. You can see our character. How many grab jumps we've done. Quests completed. We've completed 13 quests. We've only done one main quest. <laughs> That's crazy. Crafting crime. That's just this game is just massive and big. What's up, LaFraser? How you doing? But here we go. We're going to go ahead and get started. So what do you say we actually do some of the main quest for right now, just so that we can move the story on a little bit at, you know, that way we can get some more companions, get to some different areas that the game wants to show us. So with that being said, let's jump in to the main quest, which is called the old neighborhood. So it says we need to ask about Moira in Sidonia. So we're going to go back to Mars for right now. And the, the funny thing is that we don't even need to go to our ship. We can just do this right here. Find the soul system. Click on it. Here we are. Now we just need to find Mars. Get your ass to Mars. There and click and boom. It's literally that simple. I'm actually really starting to like that fact because. Ooh, I wonder if the broken spear is still open. It's the only decent place in town to grab a drink. Because it just it takes away all of the the slowness. Like there are going to be days where I'm going to want to. To, you know, go to my ship, do that process when I get a bigger and better ship, right? But for right now, I do like the fact that we can get to one area to the next pretty quick. And of course, thank you uh, to Bethesda for providing the code so that I can play it for you guys early. Let's just jump in here. I think we're going to need to go in here. Mars is wrapped with resources, which means... Get a lot and keep it simple or keep to yourself and everyone will be happy. Now, we don't even really need to do this because we actually already know where he is because we stumbled upon that space station and found out that he's on Neptune. But I want to do the process, you know, and I don't want to miss any story related content. So. Only that I didn't care much for them getting disbanded years ago. I don't care much for the rumors are coming back someday. Plenty. But if I went blabbing them to any rando that walks into my bar, no one would ever tell me anything around here. You don't do this job for 45 years by losing your customer's trust. Are you telling me you're like at least 66 years old? <laughs> Looking pretty good, bud. See? That's what I'm talking about. You give respect, you get respect. I'm glad you understand. Jin's hitting a member for five months. Looking forward to more of this Let's Play. Thank you so much, Jin. All right, here we go. He ain't been around. Went off on patrol. Hasn't been back in since. We're starting to think it might be time to pour one out to the Blackest Sea. Got another word for it? He means out of space. Ma'am. Sorry, I hit the I hit the button accidentally. You in the service? I know the feeling, but uh 
You just get so used to losing people. Haven't you been a bartender for 45 years? Nothing more I'd love than to help out a fellow Martian. Especially one that's missing. But... <clears throat> he has a tab, and you don't know if he's coming back. It's a lot of credits, okay? I let it slide for a long time because he's a regular, but... If I'm out all that money, I got problems. What do you say? Oh, man. Oh. Now, I could try. Your companion can speak on your behalf. What they will say is written next to their name. That's interesting. I wonder if we should use that. So... We got Sarah Morgan. Skip to the part where you admit you're lying. Persuade. He could need help. You shouldn't put a price on that. Let's try Sarah's. No, I've done this routine. Let's skip to the part where you admit you're lying about what he owes. You calling me a liar? I'll throw both of you out of this bar right now. Oh, please. Two strangers arrive from Offworld asking for information only you have. You see an opportunity. Everyone always does. Lower the price. Don't think we can't find another way to get what we want. Fine. Come on. Life on Sidonia ain't hard enough. You gonna guilt trip me? Alright, so... I didn't do too well last time on this. Um... What matters to you more, the money or Mora's life? I want you to imagine him out there alone. And here you are holding out for cash. Don't try Dang to it. guilt trip me, okay? Dang it. Guess I should ask you the same question. You All right, I think I... What? That's how the Blackest wow. Sea works sometimes. That's enough. You either pay it. Mm hmm. All right, hold on. Let me see. Uh, my my daughter's walking around there. I'm a little scared right now. I don't know if mom's up or not. Sidonia Central HUD, Auto Save Mars, that's 10 of 3. Okay, let's go ahead and go back, and we're going to try this persuasion again. I know which ones to pick. At least we're going to try. It's not like we're going that far back anyways. I want to make, you know, the Lux condos aren't good decisions. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to save the right there. Now we can go through this really quick. Serving drinks here for over 40 years. If you play. Only that I did. Okay. Plenty. You don't do this. See? You ain't been around. You got another word for it? He means out of space. Ma'am. All right. You in the service? I don't look. Hey, Elizabeth, how you doing? More. He has a tab, and you don't know. It's All right, so that's good. All right, so here we go. We can do the Sarah Morgan thing. No, I've done this routine. Let's skip to the pop. You calling me a liar? No, please. Lower the price. Fine. All right. Uh, now we're going to try the persuade. Um, if you remember correctly, it didn't work last time. None of the three worked. Come on. Life on the... Okay, so we, we tried pretty much all of them. Uh. I want him found. I do. There we go. All right, I give up. Nice. I'm just trying to earn a living here. Last time he was here, Moera kept yelling about the lady of love. <laughs> Singing songs. All that kind of thing. Venus? That's only one planet. Hardly an entire patrol route. I got what I got, okay? Oh, fine. We'll make do. 
All right, so we got to go to Neptune and Venus. So we've got two different locations. Excuse um, me. Hey, Justin in Florida, how you doing? We got two different locations to actually locate him. But since we have Elizabeth in here, it's a good time to go ahead and start with our sponsor. Elizabeth is our sponsor today, so I'm going to play the video for you all. And again, thanks to Elizabeth for being the sponsor. And uh, without further ado, let's check it out. Today's video is brought to you by the book series Chronicles of the Warlands. There's a total of 10 books. This is the first book called War Prize. Definitely recommend you check it out. My wife absolutely loves these books. And if you have a significant other, or maybe yourself likes to read fantasy style books, then this is perfect for you. She's also working on a new series, but obviously we can't uh, put any details of that out just yet. She's gonna be the sponsor for a while, so make sure you check out the books. I'll have the links in the description. Today's all right, so big shout out to Elizabeth for sponsoring the channel. Uh, means the world to us here, and uh, make sure you go check out her books. I highly recommend them. All right, so the next thing that we're going to do here is... Let's go ahead and move out. We've got all kinds of things to do. We need to get started. And again, happy Saturday to everybody out there. I remember, we don't even have to do this. We don't have to go back to our ship. We can do it the old fashioned or we can just fast travel. I mean, the game gives you. Well, thank you. I like our little calling the ship the uh, the flying purple people eater. <laughs> I think in this video, we're going to try to possibly get into building our own ship today at some point. So stay tuned for that. Should I warm up the engines? So I've been hearing some people's been having some problems with their PC versions of the game. I honestly haven't had a single problem. I feel like the game runs super smooth for me. I do have an RTX 4090, so that could explain a lot of things. And a uh, 13900K with 64 gigs of RAM. That is true. But to me, I, I don't understand how everyone is, is having all these problems. It just doesn't make a lot of sense to me. What's okay, so we got. Let's see here. Got this one here. So we got Neptune and we got Uranus. Uh, or not Uranus, uh, Venus. So let's check out the star map and see which... Hold on, no. We actually don't need to go into the star map. We need to go into the missions. And we pick which one. So... We'll start out with Venus. We'll do Venus first. So there's Neptune. Well, I see Neptune there. I guess we're going to have to, because it's on the other side of the planet. See, that's, see, it just locates on Mars. It doesn't do. Yeah, can it make the Kessel run in 12, 12 parsecs? Okay. Here we go. So it's like right behind it. That's why. So we'll go to, we got Venus and Neptune. So we do not have a scan available. Maybe we have to. All right. So he can either be at the science post. We just know that we have to go here. So we're just going to set course for Venus. I've had zero problems. Ooh, talk to Sarah. Hello, what do we have here? See that cluster of ships? Varun Zealots. You ever run into one? <laughs> Completely different. 
devoted to a deity they call the Great Serpent, the devourer of the unbelievers. I'll let you guess what happens if they spot us. No, no other ship readings in the area. And I doubt they'd be so calm if a vanguard had flown by recently. No idea. They appear and attack people seemingly at random. House Varun technically has diplomatic ties to the other factions, but the Zealots are outside of their control. Or so they say. No, but I think I see something else that might. There's a UC satellite beacon hovering distressingly close to those Varun ships. If we can get close enough to it, we could download its logs and figure out where our vanguard was heading to next. Hey Mario, alright. Exactly. Minimal ship power. Go slow. We grab the data on that satellite and jump away. Oh yeah, stealth shipping, baby. Alright. Uh, minimalize... Uh, mi minimize ship system power to avoid detection systems like weapons shields are easier to detect for maximum stealth power down all systems except one or two bars in your engines and stay as far away from the enemy ship as you can get within 500 meters of the satellite beacon so that you can activate it okay just down to one This is what I'm talking about. I do wish that you could move the camera around without actually moving your ship, but again, it's me wanting this to be a little bit more space simmy, you know. Oh, and great serpent. Bless this communion that we may walk in Janan Verun's footsteps. That he jumped from the soul system out into the beyond and touched your magnificence. That he learned the truth of the shrouding. A coming eternal embrace that you will reward the promised and cast the accursed into shadow. I have no idea if a GTX 1080, um, I don't know, that's a hard pill to swallow. I mean, a 1080 is so many generations away, so that would be a tough one. I don't want to give you the wrong answer on that, though. You should look at the recommended specs out there and then you can make that judgment 1050 ti i don't know that'd be even worse maybe 720 at low i don't know don't quote me on anything because i really honestly don't know and i don't want to give you the wrong answer so this is how fast we are we're only going 24 speed <laughs> but we want to be as stealthy as possible so also have ship thrusters now I updated um, a skill into pilot so now I can actually th thruster my ship up down left and right which is gonna really come in handy for combat just need to get within 500 meters so my guess is we would not last in a fight right now well that's the purpose of this channel because a lot of people don't have that opportunity to be able to play these types of games so that's what I'm here for, just to spread the love of video games in general and give people an opportunity that would normally have the chance of playing something to see. And to show you 
unedited gameplay if you're watching these let's plays as well. I hope we have more missions like this. I'm hitting the asteroid. That's hilarious. Oh, I took some shit, some hole damage there. Because I freaking hit the asteroid like an idiot. Almost at 500. So, as you saw, we went to the Nova Star Yard super, super early. Remember? So, we already did that mission. So, at this point, we're kind of caught up. We don't need to actually do it. So, with that being said, let's back out of here before we get too close to these guys. Now I'm going to set my star map and now we're actually going to go to where we need to go because we technically already did See it's one let's go to the the Nova Galactic thing, but we've already actually done that. So we're gonna head out to Neptune now We should be okay As far as shooting asteroids, I'm not 100% sure There's a ship just drifting out there. No time to take in the sights. That could be our vanguard. Something's wrong. The ship's weapons are powering up. Get ready! Vanguard to civilian ship. Come in. If you stop shooting at us, we'd be more than happy to respond. just the engines.
figure that part out yet. Once the ship's engines are down, you must fly close to the ship before you'll be able to allow it to dock once you board. Alright, this is our first one. Alright, clear out the, uh... I'm probably not going to play Armored Core, it's just not really a game for me, so probably not. Okay, so, um... Don't have a lot there, don't have anything there, don't have nothing there. Just have that and this. Nothing like a little stealth shotgun to take them out, right? Alright, here we go. Uh, is there like another what is there like another part of the ship <laughs> whoa okay there is another part <laughs> I know this seems a little weird that I'm doing it this way, but it's it's the actually way that's working here, because I got the shoddy. Okay. See if they've got any weapons or ammo. We did just pick up a actually a pretty nice thing there. I take there. Window rifle. Okay, so let's see inventory wise. How good is this weapon? It's Better in almost everything. I mean, the physics. It's just a three. Physical 21. Put it at six. Nine hundred and four? Nice. Ah, 
Am I glad to meet whoever you two are? Looks like we're all in one piece. Any day you walk away from, right? Right. Ecliptic mercs. They'll work for anyone. And vanguards don't exactly make friends with local pirates, thieves, and scavengers. Think enough of them finally got fed up and they pool their money to hire professionals. I hear that. If the universe was a nice place, all soldiers could retire. And no home would be missing a seat at the table. Who are you two, anyway? Constellation. Seriously? Guess that's where the respect for space comet was coming from. Man, I've only heard stories. We've heard stories, too. About a strange object you found on patrol. So, you know what that thing is? I tried to hawk it in Sidonia, and the guy thought I was peddling phony titanium. Mm, it doesn't play nice with scanners. It'd be worthless to someone trying to flip rare minerals quickly. So you're saying I shouldn't be using it as a hood ornament? Oh, that. Yeah, I mean, it's been a mess lately. Spacers, Varun zealots, plus Ecliptic tracking me down. We ran into a few members of Ecliptic at the Nova Galactic Star Yard. I'm guessing they were after you. Ah, damn. That's probably how they found me. I knew taunting the spacers to meet me at Neptune was a long shot. Making rookie mistakes. I've been chasing shadows around the solar system for years. And every time I go back to Mars... Sidonia is waiting for you. Run down. Forgotten. Feels like everyone's given up, you know? I've just been spending more and more time in the star field. Sometimes I wonder if I'm really going back. He said the name of the game. Oh. Yeah? You know, that's actually kind of tempting. I'd have to settle some things back on Sidonia. Maybe hit me up there later. If you don't mind, we came here for something. That strange object you found? Right. Hey, it's yours. Appreciate the rescue. Hope you figure out whatever that thing is. Let's grab the artifact. Let's get back to the launch. All right, we did it. If you're overloaded, we should stop and prioritize what we're carrying. I just want to make sure I'm looking around here. All right, so we're heading back. Roll credits, exactly. All right, so we've we picked up this um, this little guy. What can we do with it? Can we give it anything? Standard barrel. Still missing quite a bit of things. See, I wish that there was just a better way of showing this off. Dang it, we still don't we still need tantalum and polymer. Or no, we don't need polymer. We only need tantalum. I gotta find out where the hell tantalum is, man. Yeah, I don't think there's anything we're gonna be able to. I feel like we're close to a lot of stuff, but as far as getting any of that weapon stuff, we, we don't got nothing yet. Industrial, so just comms relay. Okay. We're going to get into all of that sometime soon. Uh, research lab, anything. Doesn't look like it. 
All right, let's go. Hey, Jason, how you doing, bud? Thank you, Angry. Hope you're doing all well. There we go. All right, so let's head back away, preferably not hitting his ship. I do think this game lives up to its hype, but a game with this much hype, it's impossible to fully, fully live up to it. It's good to be home. Sometimes we put too high expectations on games, you know? You're back. Now you... this, this <laughs> we is have history. It. Go ahead. You look do at the this. Old. Why are my parents here? You've been given a precious opportunity. Seize it and never Constellation look back. sounds magical, like a storybook. There's just so much to do in New Atlantis. I don't know why they're here, though. So much time. What are they doing here? a bit but it's restabilized is there anything new showing up no it's the same as before there's a massive output as the artifact is added then it harmonizes like it's waiting for the others hmm that's speculation but i think you're right we need more here you've earned this welcome to constellation as a full member this time hey Honestly, this just makes it more official. Call it right person, right place, right time. But once the artifacts started coming together, you were one of us. Yes, this is the main story. We just found the guy on Neptune. Uh, we had to board. We had to take down a ship. We boarded it and we found we got the piece and now we're back. So we are continuing the story now. We're going to do great things together. All of us. By the way, how would you like to keep traveling together? I'm not sitting behind my desk for this. These artifacts are a new chapter for Constellation, and I'm going to be out there for it. And I want you out there as well. You got results. <laughs> I need someone like you watching my back. Oh, we'll be working with everyone here at the Lodge sooner or later. Constellation is all in on this. Sometimes we'll partner up, sometimes we'll go solo. It's not a formal arrangement. We just came back with good news. We've got momentum. Why not keep going? All right. We've got a few more leads we should talk about. First, there's an expedition that Samco has been putting together. 
is in Free Star Collective Space, and he knows it inside and out. There's also the Eye, our star station in orbit. About time for you to meet Vladimir. He's been hard at work tracking down more anomalies. And last but not least, Noel. Have we heard anything from Barrett yet? A courier from Argos Extractors came by to let us know they're packing up the operation on Vectera. But that's it. No other word. Mm, that's not good. We should get over there and check on Barrett in person. <laughs> I got it just going right in front of us there. Oh, there's a lot to talk about here. You can thank Barrett for that, if he's still around to thank when this is all said and done. Honestly, he took this seriously before any of us. What's that? It I can't see you. Hold on. He started doing this things. No! Things. <laughs> I will admit, it was something of a shock to see Barrett taking anything seriously. His mind is always somewhere, but there's no arguing his knack for being in the right place at the wrong time. Oh, too bad he couldn't see the artifacts coming together. But knowing him, he'll be so excited when he gets a look, it won't occur to him that he's missed anything. We maintain a star station in orbit above us. It's where we do all our deep space scanning. Vladimir runs the station. Brilliant astronomer. Years of practical experience. Oh, that's right. He wasn't here when you first showed up. He should be back by now. I'll let him handle the introductions. If I steal his thunder, I'll never hear the end of it. It's all important, but if you want a direction, I'd grab Barrett first. He's not just an old friend. He's been all over the settled systems. You and ask whatever you'd like. All right, so we've already done all that. Okay, we're good. Time. All right. Your mom dropped by. We had a nice chat. She uh, left this note for you. She's standing okay, right behind that's us. It. Time to sell some of your junk. Mom, I'm opening up this note you just gave me. Dearest son, I was going through our storage unit the other day and I came across something that made me think of you. I know you're important and you're busy, but I'd really love if you visit. You know what? Never mind. I'll just stay and see you here. Oh, there you are, son. Not wait to meet him. It's been ages since Constellation has had someone new. I wonder what he's like. Just go easy on him. Being interrogated by a kid ain't exactly the best way to make a first impression. Adam All Jensen the really in space? Stuff. This does not bode well. And you must be the latest poor fool to get dragged into our dysfunctional little family. <laughs> I never asked for this. No. Funny story, caught this one stealing my ship. Only reason I didn't turn her in is because we have the same last name. Dad. <laughs> All right, that's my one. Whoa, I know a few dark sides of the Aquila moons, but if you're looking for deep history lessons, well, I'm gonna fall asleep before you do. Trust me, don't encourage him. Koriko, by the way. Hi, hi. Hi, hi. There's no you have to be this tall sign for space. The package may be small, but she can handle herself. You'll see. It helps to have a good teacher. Dad, don't let it go to your head. Sam? Not let it go to his head. <laughs> Impossible. A compliment from little Cora. And it's not even my birthday. Now, let's talk business. Sarah tell you about the expedition? Mm. 
Sure enough, that's where we're heading. The three of us are heading to Aquila, for a settled planet of the Free Star Collective and, not coincidentally, the home of their capital, Aquila City. We'll land in the city's spaceports, but the frontier is our goal. It's a rough country, spawned a lot of stories. And I got a lead on a tale that um, makes me think one thing. Artifact. Yeah, don't piss off the Free Star Rangers. As far as the Collective is concerned, they're judge, jury, and executioner. They're the good guys, but that don't make them any less dangerous. Outside that, just don't be an asshole. How does this game make me feel generally? I feel really good. I love playing it. I'm already, what, 15 hours now deep? And it feels like I've barely even scratched the surface. Okay. We'll meet you on board your ship. Talk more when we get there. Once we land on Aquila, it's going to be you and me. So if you want to do any freewheeling before then, Cora and I will just be riding passenger. I'm listening. All right. So I say this is a good opportunity. Let's. I hope Barrett makes it back to us. I know he gets into trouble all the time. Everyone just sort of accepts he'll be fine, but still. I think which one's my room? I don't even remember. I can't remember which one's my room. Uh, this is my room. Here we go. Okay, storage. All right. Uh, we got two space ships now. We got the calibrated one, which is definitely better. Yeah. So we're going to go ahead and... Value 3050? I'm going to sell that. Helmets. Yeah, I'm going to sell some stuff here. That should get rid of some stuff and things. All right, I need to go to a trade kiosk and do some selling, I think. I think that'll be my best option. Cooking station. satisfied with the quarters available to you. No, it could have been better. Very disappointed. I think this has a, definitely has a shot of being game of the year nominated. This could definitely end up being my game of the year. That is for sure. I don't think anyone's going to argue that. All right, remember, we're over encumbered. I got to get to a terminal the trade, but it's going to take us a little time to get there. I need to get to the spaceport. So you got to give a little, a little bit of running, a little bit of time. I watched a video yesterday on trying to manage my inventory better because <laughs> I'm just so bad at it. And essentially what that video said was you don't need to be, you don't need to care too much about all the things that you have on you. Like you don't need to hoard all of those items. Remember, you don't start taking health until your CO2 goes all the way up. And also, just so you know, you cannot die from CO2 buildup. Even if your health goes all the way down, it will not kill you. It will just make it to where that if you got into a fight Another day? And, and your health's all the way down, then that will kill you. But you will not simply just die from CO2 buildup. Thank you. 
I will say this. I do not think a game like um, Zelda Tears of the Kingdom or whatever should be nominated for the game of the year because it's literally the same exact game By the way, Captain, Sergeant from um, from when it the last one that came out. It's literally the same exact game. And I don't think games that are exactly the same should be nominated for game of the hey, year. What can I do for you? That's just my opinion. Everyone's different, obviously. But that's just how I feel. All right. So let's go ahead and put on our new spacesuit. Okay, we can take off our helmet and put on our new helmet. It is still better. Although we don't get the 50% damage from human enemies anymore. Um, all right. Let's sell some things. We're going to be here for a minute here as I get rid of anything that has uh, some weight. Everything in here has no weight, as you can see. So everything in the notes, don't worry about. Resources. This stuff, any, I do want to keep on me, I think, but I want to give it to, to people and maybe the thing is that they do, resources do have some weight, as you can see. But I can put it in my ship. So I can get rid of most of this stuff by putting it in my ship, except for the things that I've labeled there. Um, AIDS, I want to keep most of this stuff because you need AIDS. Look at ship parts. Repairs full 4%. Use to repair spaceship hull damage. I wonder if I can put this ship part in my sh cargo and it'll still be considered a part of my ship. You know what I mean? It's another good question for me. Um, so what can I get rid of? I've already got rid of the spacesuit thing. Let's just take a look at what's how about books do I have any any um, just notes though I'd have no actual books so I don't have any of that so that's good throwables we just got some mines which I really haven't been using a lot I can go ahead and sell this and I can go ahead and sell this. Why? Hold on. Why selling this? I only get 381, but I saw the thing say 3000. It's like worth 3000 to buy, but to sell it, it's only 381. That cleared up a little bit. We're still over. Digipix, we're keeping. Keep that. So we don't need to do anything there. Resources. This is the biggest thing. See how much all these resources take up. I'm not going to sell these resources. I'm going to put them in my ship. And I think that'll clear. Carrying too many odds and ends. That'll clear most things up here. Let's go take this over to our ship. Have things for you. I'm gonna put it in ship storage. Cargo hold. Transfer. Resources are miscellaneous. Oh wait, no, that's in the ship. I need to go to my inventory. There we go. Uh, resources. So this is what I want to I want to put in there. Now, I don't know if these ones are the ones that counts for that. So I'm going to take everything.
Hopefully this will clear up a lot of this stuff. Okay, there we go. I know I can restore all, but I, I don't know if... My question is, can I leave all of this, the stuff that I've labeled here, in my ship inventory, and will it count to the resource items that I'm trying to use when, I, when I'm out and about and I'm using the different research stations? And that's really the biggest thing that I don't really know too much about that I want to kind of discover. Something for you when you have a moment. Oh, you do. Here, I have something for you. <laughs> oh, you're incorrigible. I picked it up on one of our latest planetary expeditions. I'm more than just an extra gun, you know. I'm just pleased I get to utilize some of my old field collecting skills. It's been a while. Check back with me from time to time after we return from our planetary jaunts. Hello, MSP. If I pick anything up, it's all yours. Toxin. All right. I've been wanting to do this for a while now. We're going to take a little dive into it. So I'm going to save beforehand just in case I screw anything up. That way I know that we're safe. You inspect your ship for heat leeches every couple landings. Anything I can help you with? All right. First of all, I'm sure you can find something you like. Here's the ships that you can buy. Look, we have 79,000, so we literally can buy new ships. It's 57,000, but look, it kind of sucks when it comes to um, weapons, although you can put better weapons on. But you would need to upgrade your reactor, obviously, in order to make it better. The grav drive is a little bit better. It can go further um, than the, the current ship that we have. See, it's a 22 light jump. Engines, though, come down a lot. And again, if you get a better reactor, then that'll help that. So you got the Rambler, you got the Galio, um, which is 132,000. So we don't have enough for that. 79. 550 almost have enough for the mustang the only thing is what is this one this one is the disruptor electron beam crew, crew capacity on 0 0.5 0 0.5 so what's the total crew capacity for this ship it says two So is this ship bigger or smaller than the current ship that we have right now? Gosh, it looks bigger. But our, like I said, our laser goes down, jumps the same, shield goes up 375. So there's the Mustang. This guy, obviously, we can't get it. That's obviously much bigger. The Achilles. So that one pretty much goes up and jump, goes up in lasers, goes up quite a bit there. How what's the actual cost? 66,000. Crew is 2. Grav goes up, engines go down a little bit. Um let's inspect this and see. I'm going to take a look. It's a nice looking ship, though. I wonder. That does. I. It is. The only thing it's not doing up is the grav. Or excuse me, the engine. And then last but not least, shield breaker. Obviously, we can't even get this ship because... It is way above our pay grade. All right, so what I'm going to do is exit there. I want to look at my sure. ship. How about it? This is our frontier. And you can see it's a crew size of two. 
Only jump seven licks of 13. And of course, you can change the weapons or not. So what you can do is you can upgrade the ship so we can upgrade our weapons, engines, shield generator, grav drive, and reactor. And this is, of course, reactor is this thing here where we can equip our power. We have 14 slots. And there you go. But you can see the size of the ship in total. And it's a pretty big ship. What I want to do is I want to take a look at shipbuilding. Now, this is why I did what I did, right? So, delete. Okay. I want to try this out. So, I don't know if I'm going to... I don't know if I'm going to keep this or not, or what I'm going to do here, but I want to try something out here. So, um, let's give this a shot. We might as well, right? I mean, this is, we got to learn about the game. So I'm going to delete everything on here and you can do this by hitting the delete button. Now notice the total amount of money that we're getting. There we go. So ship was 7,375. So now we're going to click G for add. All right, here we go. Let's get into this. This is our first time that we're customizing our ship here. Um, so a, this might take me a little time to figure it out or whatever, but it's the nature of the beast. So, okay. First things first. Um, We're going to see what we got. We got weapons. Weapons, bays, cargo, cockpits, dockers, engines, fuel tanks, gear, grav drives, habs, reactors, shields, stru I don't know, structural portholes. Oh, okay. So this must be like... So you can take a look outside your ship. And again, weapons, bays, landing bay. All right, let's start with landing bay. You can see how much the value of it is. 950. And it's, it's the, okay, so NG16. Let's see. Can we zoom in? I guess you can't zoom in. That would be nice if you could zoom in. Uh, so you got this specific type of landing bay, which I think is probably what we have right now. And then we've got the NG6. Um, all right, we're going to go with that. There we go. We got our initial landing bay. All right. So the next thing we need to add again. So let's go, um, not a cockpit, not a docker, I guess Habs. All right. So we got the one B one, two V one. Storeroom frontier all in one. Engineering Bay. I guess I'll go with the three in one. All right. So in order to move, make it go up, that's how you can make it go up one. So you can put this. All right. So if I want this on there, let's say. Uh. Yeah, I guess let's put it right there. Okay. So there's what we have so far. This is going to be definitely a challenge to figure all this out. Next up, we're going to add the cockpit. All 
All right, so notice that there's a problem with the cockpit can't go right there, so we're going to have to figure that out. We're going to have to move things around and adjust. Um, what do we want to do with this? Um, Phobos cockpit. I wish the cockpit is where you control your ship, so cargo 200, hull 5, crew stations 2. It tells you the mass size. These are smaller ones here. Megalon CX-2. So it seems like these are not that expensive. That's the cheapest one, but then you have that one, which is a lot more expensive for some reason. I don't know why, what the difference there. So what, what is the difference here? I guess the mass cargo. So 200, 220, 240, 260. 200, 220, 240, 260. Let's go with the Megalon C1X. There we go. So there's what our ship looks like so far. Now we've got seven errors. We can do flight check. All right, so this tells us. So, what well, this is what we need: a docker, engines, grav drive, landing gear, reactor, fuel tank. And the ship is too heavy to grav jump, reduce mass, or increase grav jump thrust. That's not landing bay the, no that your bay is where you get into the ship so let's and weapons wise we're unassigned there okay um let's add a let's add landing gear all right so what's the difference in these mass to Lower thrust one, auto deploying landing gear. We're just gonna go with that one, I guess. All right. Okay, so I think you can color pan. I saw that you're able to, um, okay, that's how you can zoom in. I, I thought, okay, I know you can do this, but I don't see the button for it down below. You can duplicate it. Like, I'm pretty sure you can duplicate this. I literally saw them duplicate it. Uh, maybe it's in... There it is. Okay, options. Duplicate. Flip. Z. There you go. Okay. Now we're starting to get somewhere. All right, so there's our ship so far. Uh, we still got six errors. So let's go back into add. What I'm going to add now is I need a docking. A docker. I don't really think it matters. Gonna put that on top. There's our docking bay. Docking board utter. Okay, so there's our docking bay. Um what else? Uh flight check. Engines. Let's go engines. 
All right, so this is the big one. We're going to need a few of these engines, right? We're going to need... Let's see, I'm trying to think. We can do cargo holds. We're, we're still going through everything. Remember, there's also cargo in the main cockpit. Okay, there's one. Duplicate. Uh, flip. Two. Okay, there we go. All right, so fuel. Total right now is only 3,379. Is that, is that really true? I don't even know how this all works. Uh, all right, so fuel tanks. L3 tank, mass, grav jump, 70, 50. To find out where we're going to put it here. Um, it looks like there's only one. There's literally only one spot I can put it. For whatever reason, you can't put it there. Um, I wonder if I can go up and put it somewhere up here. No. Yeah, literally, there's only one spot I can put this. At least from what I'm looking at, there's only one spot. Okay, so there's our fuel. What else is it that we need? Flight check. Um, shield. There's no place I can put my shield. That's so weird how there's like no... Hmm. I guess I have to add something up. Maybe I need to move that docking bay. Put the docking bay there. Now let's see if I can add this shield. Four it looks like the highest I can really go, which is fine. Still can't put now flipping it doesn't do anything as far as that goes. Is there any places? Maybe there's a place underneath. No, it just doesn't seem like there's a place. That I can put this shield right now. For whatever reason, they a shield cannot fit on top. 
Or maybe this specific shield can't. Um. It's like, yeah, it's like I need to buy another module or something. I can't, I don't understand why it can't fit on top of this little, because it, it looks like because it shows up from the side. So. Attach G. What? I don't want two of them. No. Oh my god. <laughs> it's cancel. Cancel. <laughs> Man, this is a oh no. Right there. I can put it right there. Okay. Uh where do I go? F. There we go. Okay, we found a place for the shield, <laughs> finally. Um, so let me move that back to there. I really like that there. Okay, next up, we got flight check. Reactor, we need a reactor. All right, reactor. No, 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 I don't want to exit. Close. Reactor. All right. Where did the reactor go? Oh, it's on the ground. <laughs> Sorry, this takes a little time to get used to, guys. Okay, so you can put the reactor there at the like back of the ship. That works. Okay, so now we need... So we're looking at 19,000 now. Grav jump thrust. Wait, we already got... Don't we already have a grav drive on? Or did we not put a graph? I don't see a graph drive. All right, let's go. I want something with some 15, 16. Okay, there we go. Um, all right, next up, weapons. All right, we need good weapons. We want good weapons. There's a lot to choose from here. Vanguards. Disruptor beams. Auto cannon. That's really kind of cheap though but fire rate 7.5 hull damage 18 23 range 800 that's pretty short so I don't want something like that um 
I want something range to be somewhat decent. 3,500. Hull damage 38, shield damage, max power 3, hull 7. Let's go with this alpha beam. Why does it keep changing? What's going on? What the heck is changing right now? It's like it's changing, but it's not showing me that it's changing. Hold on. Yeah, it, it's like it, it doesn't show you that it's changing. So if you press up or down after that, don't do that because you'll screw yourself up. Um, what did I have it on? I had, I think I had it on the disruptor. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you can have it on the bottom. You can really have it anywhere. Remember, when you're firing, that's not going to be in the way. Um... Let's have it up there. That way it looks very intimidating. Okay, so that's a disruptor beam. And the beam is a... It's an alpha beam, but it doesn't tell me what... I think I have to... I think I know what I need to do. I need to go flight check, weapons, unassigned, alpha beam. There we go. Okay. Equip. I don't know what that means. What does that red thing? Equip power. Maybe I need more power. I also need cargo too. I did it again. You cannot. Don't press up and down, everybody. You can move left and right, but if you press up or down, it does that, and that completely changes everything. And you you can accidentally do the wrong one. Let's just do the simplistic one here. I don't need. See now it's not doing it. Now it's not changing. There we go. Okay. I can have a cargo there. Cargo there. I think I need more power, right? Mobility, yeah, I think I need more power. Uh, so where am I going to get... Do I need another reactor or... Is the engines going to get my power back up? It's going to, uh, yeah, it's going to add the mobility. It's going to take away from the jump range, though, having another engine. What about reactor? Do I need another reactor, perhaps? Will that? No, that doesn't change anything with the mobility. It gives us a bigger hole. So I think what I need is the engines 
Like maybe another small engine or something, like the smallest engine they got that can really help out. To get our mobility up, essentially. Uh, what's the cheapest one? White Dwarf? This is going to be the problem, is I don't know where I can put it. With the type of engines that I already have on there, I don't know where... I don't know where I could add this. If I could move this in a way... Like, if I can move that sideways... See, it just flips it left or right. It doesn't flip it up or down. There's not really any play. I would have to add like another. Okay, I think I'm going to know what I need to do. Whatever reason, it will not let me put it right there. Looking chip. Oh my gosh, what am I doing? How are you even gonna be able to get there? Look, it's not even connected to anything. How in the heck? That's like not even connected to anything, but yet somehow this is able to this is able to go right there? How does it even make sense? Make it make sense. That doesn't even make sense to me. Docking docker module needs to be on an outside edge of the ship. I'm so confused right now. Like, I'm giving this my best shot. <laughs> um, okay. Okay, so I can't put it there because those take up way too much space. Okay, there's... Okay. I wish they separated this by 
types. Missile launchers, electric beams. It's really just... Yeah, the ship is all over the place. <laughs> yes, thank you. Oh my gosh, I have no idea what I'm doing, but there, I've got two of the same <laughs> weapons down there. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Don't really know what I'm doing at all. All right. I got to put the weapon assignment in. So two alpha beams. Okay. All right. Ship can. Oh my God, I need more than it gets. This is a mess. Oh my gosh, dude. Oh, this is a mess. This is a mess. Invalid Docker module still. How is that not on an outside edge though? Oh, I see, because that takes... So I would need to move this. Like right there. And then that would be fine, right? That should take away that... That error. Yes, so that did. <coughs> I would still need a bigger, I still need more landing gear. I need like one more. I don't have enough landing gear. So I think maybe I need four landing gear on that. We're already at 47,000, guys. I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to build this ship. Because <laughs> this is crazy. I mean, this is fun. But this is crazy. Um. Alright, so I gotta do this. If, we're, if we want to do this right, we're gonna have to... Okay. So we've got the landing gear now.
<laughs> you really do you really want your thrusters to be going right into the <laughs> into your fuel tank? <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. You really no, it's like do you really want your thrusters to go right into your fuel tank? This this game's like, sure, why not? Okay, because those are too high. Would be my guess. Because those are high, <laughs> the docker module needs to find a new location. And I need to get a better reactor class. So we're getting there. We're getting there. It's just... I think... I'm going to have to maybe change these. Something tells me that I've... Okay, just one air now. Reactor class. Okay. I had to take those things away, so... All right, um, right? Is it that's what's telling me, right? That I need a bigger reactor class. One reactor is allowed? Now I'm so confused. Uh, if... I don't know how to change this. I'm so confused. I don't know how to make this better. I've got one error. And that is this right here. Ship contains modules that exceed reactor class. I don't think I can get... Um, I think I need a B class for the size of this ship or such. Is that what it's trying to tell me? Oh, I've got a reactor there. That's a grab drive. There's a reactor. Um, I don't know. Can you guys help me out here? What do you, what do you, th what do you think this is meaning? What do you think this is saying? Like, we've built a, a somewhat pretty nice ship here, I feel. <coughs> but what can I do about this, this problem that we've got going on right now? I don't know what I can do here. I don't know how to fix this. Ship contains module that exceeds reactor class. Um. 
Um, what can I do? I don't know what I can do right now. Remove the modules that are higher. Which modules are higher than the reactor class? Um, class A, Class A. I don't see any Class A. I don't see anything that's... Everything is Class A. Everything I have on here is Class A. See, that didn't work either. So it's not that. be it, it, it might be changing this out yeah so let's just delete that go back to reactors none of that's changing those out of the red though oh that's habs sorry my bad I can't do I can't do B or C so it won't even let me do B I can just do A let's say I put that one there did that no see still still so it won't let me get a bigger reactor that's the biggest one I can get so that's got me really, really confused. Man. It's the mass. I'm going to test modules. Oh, yeah, I see. Yeah, I, I don't know what to say. Um, 
It's not going to let me do this. Hmm. Hmm. I feel like we were really getting somewhere, and then now we're just stuck on this. Did I add something too much? Is there something on here? There's got... To there's got to be something in here that is just too much for my ship to handle. Maybe it's this extra hull. The only reason I put that extra hull there. See, it's the same thing, even though I got rid of it. So there's got to be another module of some sort that I that I have to get rid of. Maybe the grab drive. See, ship still contains modules that exceed module that exceeds the reactor class. What? Oh, back to the drawing freaking board, man. I don't, I don't understand it. I don't, I don't understand it. I mean, I, I'll get it eventually. Okay. No, riveting gameplay. Sometimes it just doesn't work. That's the whole point, though, is I'm showing off all of this. I mean, that's that's literally the point. All right, so I can put that behind there. Okay, am I still getting that? Okay. All right. Okay, shit missing cockpit, yada, yada, yada. Everything looks good so far.
How can I? S Oh, I see. That's in the wrong direction. Oh, I already have a reactor. What did I do? Did I just add another one? What? That's a grav drive. That's a grav drive. This is a reactor. That is a grav drive. Are they the same? I'm confused. Why are they considered the same? Oh, I see there now. See what it was doing there, so that was my bad. Okay. So fuel tank, engines, docker, cockpit. Where the hell did it go? I want to test something out. Is it going to tell me I need more? No, it doesn't. Sweet. Okay, so that's enough. Shield. No, no, dang it. Shield. I clicked on it. Oh my god, it gets so confusing because... Docker cockpit.
There we go. We did it. All right. Our... We actually made one. I know this has been taking like an hour or so, but or over an hour, but I wanted to get into this. We had to get into it at some point. Um, okay. Weapons. Hopefully adding these weapons isn't going to hurt anything. I did it again. If you press up or down, you screw it up. I can only put a weapon there. I can't put it anywhere else. That's not enough. I need I need a better place to be able to put weapons. I'm going to have to do a better Oh my god, stop doing this again. Don't do this again. I've got no place right now to put weapons. I think I need to add, before I add that, I need to add another docking thing, or not, not docking, but another module. I don't know what I can do. Um, See, there's still no place to put, no place to put, uh, weapons. I'm going to have to go with a different cockpit, right? Because a cockpit is where you want to add your weapons to. And now you want to tell me that you can't. gosh see what I'm saying this is frustrating it's gonna take a long time for me to really understand this just moving around everything see for whatever reason it makes no sense that that can't snap to right there it makes no sense that it can't snap right there none all right so the only thing I can see that I can do is I can probably move this back one By pushing this back a little bit to there. Just allowing that there.
possibly even putting this up here. It still can't attach. What? What is keeping this one right here from being able to attach to that right there? I feel like there should be nothing from keeping that to be able to attach right there. Why can't it just stay right? There? It's like a perfect spot for it. The only thing I can think of is this here is not the right one. That it possibly needs to be this bay instead. And that still won't attach. So that just can't attach to it. Where did it go? Okay. Nope. So that one doesn't fit. For whatever reason, that one does not fit. And the thing that pisses me off a little bit is that it doesn't tell you... one fits okay but then there's no there's only one on the side and that isn't going to work there unless I move now cool I think I got it now all right so let's go in and actually do this right so add weapons Ten years later. Can I don't want to get twelve fifty. It's not enough. Disruptor beams. I like those disruptor beams. Two disruptor beams there. One error. Okay, sweet. I think we pretty much almost got it now for whatever reason. Uh, one more weapon. Let's go with... This one. Where'd it go? There it is. It, <laughs> it gets lost so easily. Okay, there we go. I think we did it. Let's flight check, sign weapons. So Okay, now I'm really confused. I 
I've got this here, which is a auto cannon, auto, auto cannon, or auto electron beam, and I have this electron beam. I'm guessing that's it, right? So yeah, weapon zero, disruptor, weapon one, that one. Yeah, should be good. All right, messages. That's all right. We don't need to have the third weapon on there. It doesn't have to be there. I think we did it. I think we did it. Ladies and gents, here it is. After all of this time, we freaking did it. <laughs> We spent so much. Now, we can only jump 15 light years, which is hilarious. Now, I could add... <laughs> Worst thing to say. I could... No, I got the dra grab drive right there. Max power is 9. If I take that away, it goes to 0. Now, I can actually add one that I think maybe that'll be better. Hold on. Okay. And go for like the most expensive one. It's going to get me really good. There we go. Much better. Jump range 25, cargo is only 220. I could add a cargo. Why can you add it to that side, but you can't add it to that side? Oh, you can. Okay. There we go. What do you think? One error. Here we go. Too few landing gears because it's too heavy. Okay, so we can't have. I can probably do just one cargo, I think, is going to be. No air. Uh, we'll see here. There we go. All right, I think that's good enough. I want to put a porthole right here. No, because that's the docking. I don't think I can put any portholes. It doesn't matter. One warning doesn't mean anything. The reason we got a warning is because I don't have a third. Oops. It's because I don't have a third um, weapon assigned. Like uh, missiles. We could add missiles. But that's the reason you see that warning there. So if we went over to missiles, I don't know where we'd put them. We'll see. Missile launcher, see? Where I, I don't really need the, the missile launcher. That's why I'm not really that focused on it. I just want to see something real quick with structural... These are largely cosmetics. It's a, just a it's just a port. I just want to see what this will look like if I. Oh, dang it! I hate when I do that. Thruster away. All 
right. I think that looks good. I think we're good, guys. We're good. We finally did it. I don't know if this is better than the ship I currently have, but it'll be something different. And let's do it. Here we go. All right, I want to rename. How do I rename my ship? You might know how to rename it. Hi, baby. I didn't see the. Hi, honey. Hi, baby. I didn't see the. Uh, I didn't see the rename. I want to rename it. I don't know why it's below the line right now. And you can upgrade it. Ella, no. Uh, but we're not going to do that. I want to rename it. Did you just take my drink? It's still good. It's still good. Thank you, babe. Um, where can I rename this? There it is. Okay, what am I going to call this? Um, no, dang it, what the heck? Um, oh, we can't. That's all we can do. Uh, I was going to say the strain and aider. Um, You know what? Whatever. Yeah, let, we'll do it. The Enterprise. <laughs> Why not? Okay. There we go. Our new ship, ladies and gents. We did it. Holy crap. Yeah. I'm so sorry that took forever. There's our new ship. It's clearly smaller, I think, than the ship we just had. The Struggle. That would have been a good name. You know what? You're right. You're right. Let's let's change that to the struggle. That that makes extreme sense. Need some work done? Okay, no problem. I can't. I'm sorry, Kitty. You're 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 covering the TV, honey. I, I can't see, baby. Come on. <laughs> the cat's right in front of the TV, and I can't see the up thing. Uh, shipbuilder. Flight check. Rename. Is 
The struggle. Here we go. I'm kind of breaking my concentration here. All right. Is it going to be better than the ship that we just had? I don't know. And I know this took forever. Same same little landing bay as the one we had before. All right. Let's get this crate into space. Oh, wow. Thank you. All right. So here is a new module. As you can see, it's completely different. We got beds for everybody. A little bit of storage space back here. Bathroom. It's a lot bigger. This is, as you can see. Actually, it's, it's definitely not bigger. It's definitely smaller, I think. This is a little different in here. So got our locker and where is... Where do you get to the ship's cargo? I like how she's just sitting up there. That's awesome. Where do you where do you access your cargo inventory? Right there. Okay, there's our cargo hold. Um, yeah, it's a small ship. Um, and we probably spent way too much. I'm sure the other ship was probably better. But, uh... This is my ship. My first built ship. I feel like a sense of pride. We got a great grav drive. Look at that guy. Look at him go. A sense of accomplishment after about an hour and a half. <laughs> I can't wait to build like these big, big ships. Oh yeah, she feels smooth. She feels good. Feels good in the hands. All right, let's look at that. So you can see we no longer have missiles. So engine, I'm happy with the engine. Um. Guess where we're heading? Oh, we can't even get there. It's gonna take a while to get there, I'm guessing. We're gonna have to go one little bit at a time. So first things up is we need to go here, and then we can jump there, and then we can jump here. As you can see, we can't set a course. You have to do a little jumping at a time. Unexplored, see too much fuel. So we got to go to this one's Fort Barnard Star first. Check out weapons here. I like it. I like it. We'll see how good the damage and whatnot does. actually take a little view outside here it's a blue star there's a bunch of doors oh, a lot of planets here to explore we got star yard pretty much right outside here 
mining post on this place. Scan the planet, see what we've got. It's a rock. All right, let's go to Aquila City. There is aluminum. Is it combat worthy? I'm not 100% sure. I know it has better um, weapons than I did on the previous. to me feels more home because I made this ship, you know what I mean? Like, this is my ship. I made everything you see here. So there's like a sense of accomplishment in here. The only downside is I don't see any uh, research labs or anything like that here, but that's not that big of a deal. But I do like it. I do like it. How are we doing as far as our character? 211. Let's look at skills. We got one skill, so... Just one more point here, so boost tracking. Destroy five ships and I can do the next one for the piloting. I need to do 20 for sneaking. I need to do one more, and then I can do one more in Persuasion. Pickpocket, four more. Now I could probably do Astrodynamics. I've already got a pretty good... We're gonna... We'll, we'll keep it for now. We're, we're good for now. We will get into it, though. All right. I just feel so accomplished. I finally did it. It took an hour. It's a small ship, I know. I like how she puts hers away as soon as I do. All right, we're at Aquila. Let's check it out. No, I haven't found a 1911 yet. All right, we're here. You ready? Because once we get started, I'm going to be riding your tail until this is over. She stays with the ship, usually. Got a few more years to go before I let her swill whiskey in some backwater bar. There's uh, something you should know up front. I'm a co. As in Solomon Co, first man on Aquila. That tale I mentioned before, the one I think is connected to an artifact, it's something of a family legend. After planet fall, Solomon spent years mapping Aquila, and he found a tiny little patch of nothing on his senses. The kind of nothing an artifact produces. He called it the Empty Nest. Said it was a place even the wildlife of Aquila wouldn't go. You can tell sometimes when the voice is changed because it's at a like a different day or something like that where they recorded the next line and it's a little jarring. I don't know if you guys hear that or not. Because you'll find a whole lot of nothing. Gravitational anomalies are a little hard to pick up in an area with tons of starship traffic. Not to mention all the electronics from the city and security scramblers that the Free Star or smugglers out on the frontier put down. Yeah, and the Coers have been coasting on that for ten generations now. Solomon's always a larger-than-life figure if you read the histories, but if you just listen to a few recordings of the man, he was simple. Just wanted to keep moving forward. Solomon's maps are locked up tight in the local gal bank. We'll be heading there. All right.
Ron. Okay, I just wanted to take a selfie. <laughs> I know that sounds so stupid. I don't think I'm in the right outfit for this area. You'll have a tech free? That's not a problem. And you're springing for the new reactor? It's still under manufactured warranty. Yes. Can I get an invoice? <laughs> what you need one of those for? Got anything you need to offload? Trade authority is always buying. Kia, I'm sure you can find something you like. Just want to see what ships they have here. Maybe I should have came here and done it. Ooh. 42,000. We could have bought this ship for 42,000. Look at the lasers and the missiles. Engines, shields. Did I? I put a shield. I put a shield on my thing, right? I'm pretty... Oh my god. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I did. That's definitely a bigger ship. I mean, look at that. That thing is massive. Oh, they got different style landing landing modules in the back, too. The Ranger. Gosh, see, it took me forever to do the most simplest ship. These look badass. Oh my gosh, look at this ship. 400,000. Look at how big this ship is. God, I wish you could get inside it and look around, man. Sure, how about it? And then you look at mine. <laughs> super tall, super, super small. Uh, hold on. I did. There is something I did want to do that I did not do. Um, I think it's upgrade. I'm pretty sure it's up. It's it's an upgrade. Is it an upgrade? No, it's not an upgrade. Where is the color? Now I should be able to color my ship, right? I change its. There we go. Okay. Uh, let's start here. I totally forgot to do this. Let's give it a little bit of a red look. Oh, yeah.
we can just just make it red. We're just gonna give it a we're just gonna give it a red look all around essentially. Go with red this time. Let's change that one and make this. Why not? <laughs> Red with a little pink. Ugly, ugly ship. You're welcome. Corporate policy. Is it okay if I just write it on a notepad? All right. As long as it's written and signed. There's my beautiful red and pink ship. <laughs> Your ship is more of a shuttle. Yeah. <laughs> An hour and a half to build a shuttle. Hold it. By order of Marshal Daniel Blake, I need to inform you we've got some trouble at Gal Bank. Folks might be in danger, so you may want to steer clear. It's just behind me on the right. The place is on lockdown, so you should steer clear unless you can help out. Not usually, but he took charge of the situation because the bank robbers are part of the Shaw gang. The marshals had a lot of experience dealing with the gang, so he's calling the shots. My cat is really lovey, lovey dovey today, so she's like getting right in my face. Well, all I know is there was an attempted bank robbery and things went sideways. You'd have to ask the marshal if you want the whole story. I guess that'd be the marshal's call. Frankly, it ain't going well. Looks to be a stalemate. Maybe a little outside help would do some good. Well, I doubt those robbers are gonna let us leisurely peruse the Galbank vault. You better see if we can help move the situation along. Everyone stays in front of the building, you got me? Kilo City. Feels like I spent half my life trying to get out of this place. Planning to tell me your demands at some point? You find someone we can trust and maybe we will. Like who? Hey, where's... Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Um, where do we get to our our crew? Does, do you guys know where uh, crew? Here we go. So we can put her just on the ship, I guess. <sighs> now, if they're on the ship, does that mean they're with us? Because I don't see Sarah right now. That's why I was asking, like, where where did Sarah go? Is she not with us anymore? I do want her to, to go with us. Maybe in Aquila City, he's the only one that goes with us. Again, I don't know how all that works, so... You need to stand back now. It's a hostage situation. Now please, get back, or I'll have the guards drag you away. I don't mean to be rude, but I don't know you. Now please, stand back. Aquila City at its finest, I see. Never a dull moment. Well, I'll be damned. Sam Coe. Been a long time. I won't hold my breath about you being here to take the badge again. Uh, listen, Sam, just so you know, I don't blame you for how it went down. For the others, though, you might get a different reception. Thanks. I appreciate you saying so. But I figure some of that reception is owed. Still, I appreciate the sentiment, Marshal. It seems you got a situation. My friend here may be the answer you're looking for. All right, Sam. I'll trust your judgment on this one. Some folks from the Shaw Gang tried to rob the place, but they got spotted by a guard. They took everyone inside hostage, and now they're keeping a watch so we can't move against them. 
They're using the intercom to communicate. It's a big group that hides outside the city and runs smuggling jobs off-world. They take in all kinds, rookies and veterans alike. Judging by their lack of preparation, I'd say this particular group is green as hell. Probably their first attempt at heist. That should work in our favor. Right about now, they're probably wishing they've just stayed home. They won't talk to me. Say they don't trust the badge. <laughs> they want a neutral negotiator. In other words, they didn't have a plan for this, so they're stalling while they come up with one. Without demands, I ain't got much to work with. About all we can do is wait and see. Hmm. All right, I'm willing to allow that. But a few things first. Say what you have to, but whatever they ask for, there's no way in hell I'm giving it to them. Also, there are lives at stake, so don't get cavalier. Find out what they want, and then report back to me. Take it slow and steady. Look for every opportunity to de-escalate. You got this. Hey, you in the bank. I'm sending in a negotiator, so don't shoot. Hands where I can see him. And don't try nothing. You have a nice day now. You're the negotiator, huh? If you think you're just gonna walk up here and get us to surrender, you're dead wrong. Uh, it's Jed. Jet Bullock. Well, ain't you polite. So tell me, stranger, how do I know you're going to deal straight with us? That sounds like, what's his name? Cole from Madden uh, Long Shot Mode. I heard that. Okay, so let's talk. See, that wanted helped us because we picked the trait wanted that actually helped us out. They talk too damn much, complain about everything. As much as we'd like to, none of us has shot one yet. We want to guarantee a safe passage to the spaceport and a ship. We'll drop the hostages off somewhere safe in the system. After that, we'll radio back where they are, and the Marshal and his crew can come and get them. But if anybody follows us when we break orbit, we start shooting people. Got it? What, do you think we want to stay locked up in here? Hell no! Oh hell, the Freestar Rangers have got ships. They can give us one of them. This whole damn job's gone wrong. It was supposed to be just a quick hit. Clean and simple, you know? So let's just... Let's all try to keep our heads, yeah? Because my guys, they're going crazy in here. I don't know how much longer we can last. What do you mean? Oh boy, here we go. I only got three turns. a decent ranger with the way you handled that wow nice all in a day's work yep. that was a cowboy and back in my former life and i uh, just wanted to say thank you and howdy those guys are scared i can tell what's the word 
I, I wish I could say they asked you to go in there and shoot them. <laughs> well, I'll be a son of an ashtray. Son of an ashtray? <laughs> How'd you pull that off? Well, I just, uh, you know, told them about my time back on the saloon when I was working back on the range. And, well, you know, they got to see that we were, we're just like them, you know. There's a part of us that just want to be left alone and live their life. And, and I showed them that sometimes we all make mistakes, but. If your heart's in the right place. No, I'm just kidding. I, I told him I'd shoot him in the head and they said, oh, we give up. To be honest, no, I didn't. The Shaw gang isn't known for backing down. Good thing these were rookies. If we'd been dealing with some of the higher ups, things might have gone differently. Considering those are Shaw's people, that's damn near a miracle. Here, you've more than earned this. You got us out of a tough spot, and you did it with courage that's not common. As a matter of fact, you might just be Freestar Ranger material. If you're interested, head on over to The Rock and ask for Emma Wilcox. She handles the new recruits. All right. Now that lives aren't on the line, let's get back in Galbag, see if we can get those maps. These days I hardly see my husband at home. He works the oddest hours. We'll take it from here. Hey, twins! Look! Look! Mom! We're twins! Look! Are you my sister? Look! We shop at the same place! Let's go back to my place. Sorry. Sometimes, nice sometimes I have a little too much fun. Like a rock. That's the rock. Ranger Central. Not a bad part, too. Like a rock. Guess I'm not used to having the tube out. But it's nothing that would keep me from getting back out there. Seems that way. That's pretty crazy, even by Shaw Gang standards. Well, nobody ever accused those boys of having an overabundance of common sense. Need something? You got some business with me? Well, look here, you see. You know, I want to learn about the Freestar Angels. That's so. Well, you found your way to the right person. Well, the Freestar Rangers ensure the safety and security of the Freestar Collective and its people. We might hunt down a fugitive, break up a smuggling operation, investigate a starship theft, or put some would-be bank robbers behind bars. Whatever needs doing to keep the people safe, we do. Sounds like my kind of job. <laughs> That's admirable. Like most things that are worth doing, it ain't always easy. I hear you on that but one. Do I think we make the Freestar Collective a little safer for everyone? Yeah, I do. Praise be to I you. I imagine you've got some questions. Sure I'll do. I'll answer anything I can. All right. Well, let's see. Are there a lot of Rangers out there? The number's always changing due to retirements, recruiting, and unfortunately, death in the oh, of duty. Yeah. Shit happens. But as far as I know, there's never been more than a dozen Rangers at any one time. Ooh. What do you say... Would you say there's like six right right now? And if I join, I can become the seventh and then maybe we can call ourselves the Magnificent Seven. <laughs> See what I did there? <laughs> All kidding aside, what authority do the Freestar Rangers have, little lady? Well, in theory, a Freestar Ranger can go anywhere in Freestar Collective space, uh, even private property. But of course, it doesn't always work out that way. We also have jurisdiction over any local security when we're tracking a fugitive. Ah, oh, I see. Well, I know what I need to do. Let's continue. Okay, then. A word about myself. 
I'm in charge of making sure anyone that wants to be a Free Star Ranger is up to the task. That being said, the Marshal wouldn't send you here if he didn't think you had potential. So, what's it gonna be? Are you ready to sign up with the Free Star Rangers? Well, that depends. Have you ever heard of this? Uh, this old game came out about 300 years ago. It was called Starfield Redemption. Right, the main protagonist, um, his name was Sinistrain. And he was on a saloon and he was part of the Rangers there. He was doing all kinds of stuff. It's a very awesome game. Have you ever played it? No? All right, I was just asking. Um, how do I apply? Do I fill out a form or something? I prefer a more practical kind of evaluation. I'll give you the details if you want to join up. Hmm, sounds interesting. Hmm, I got a few more questions. Uh, it's a big decision, but I, I don't know. Maybe you want to give me his job? Yeah, I know. Sure. Let's do it. Might be a good fit for you. The Rangers can do a lot of good. Before I hand you a badge, I need to know you can handle the job. Oh, I can handle the you job. You out with the hostage situation. True. But sometimes people just get lucky. My little name's me. Lucky. Use the mission terminal and take one of the listed jobs. Your choice. Come back alive, and we'll talk about you joining up. You got yourself a deal, little lady. Then I suggest you get going. I'll be back now, you hear? Welcome to the rock, I guess. What can I get you, Emma? Oh, nothing. Losers always whine about their best. Winners go home and the prom queen. <laughs> Sorry, that's a that's a movie The Rock reference, you know. I like to do references. Alright, we gotta do one of these missions. Rescue hostage. Destroy the Crimson Fleet Captain. At all time we gotta lead a particular notorious group, the abandoned mine. Abandoned research tower. Let's do this one. Destroy the Crimson Fleet Captain. Set it as our active mission. I try and give a credit or two to the low house. So this probably is going to be a ship destroying things. So that means we'll be able to check out some of the space combat in our new ship. If we can't do this, then we have definitely did not do a good job at picking our ship. Some make it seem like he built the whole I guess we're gonna find out. Yeah? Sarah, did she like Sarah's gone. Hey Dad, wanna hear a poem I wrote? It's called a haiku. I just read about them. Is it just me? Where the heck did Sarah go? We lost our companion. I'm so confused right now because of this. I have no idea where she went. She gone. She gone. Hey, will you write it down so I can carry a copy with me? I'll copy down too. You know how you lose things. 
I still don't know how you lost that picture of Nibbles the Comet Eating Bunny. Maybe she's on a toilet break, yeah. Maybe she's in the commode. out pretty quick. We have some pretty good, um, pretty good weapons that we put in there. The first step on a new world full of life and the unknown. Where did she go? Maybe she's not meant to go with us during this section or whatever. Maybe you can't have more than one companion travel with you at a time. And that's why we don't see her. But... She was on our ship when we were at New Atlantis, but then she's gone now, so... You're out there a lot, right? causing trouble now oh you're back how'd it go give me a damage <laughs> i'm sure you did and i'm glad to know that was your priority you did what i asked so let's go meet the marshal follow me Helga says i spent too much time at my terminal She's probably right. Yep, she is. You should try Phil Burns beer. It's brewed in the city. Sorry, I don't like beer. We're headquartered in the upper floors of the rock, but we also have remote stations throughout Three Star Trek. It helps us to identify and spot threats more quickly. Like I said before, there are less than a dozen rangers in all, and we operate with limited resources. Thankfully, most people respect us and are willing to cooperate. In this job, your eyes, ears, and wits are every bit as important as your badge and your sidearm. Yes, I built a new ship, and I'm using that new ship right now. It took a while. 
But we were finally able to make it work. And that's my new ship. Marshall. Emma. I take it you're here because you're satisfied that our new recruit can handle the job. Seems like a fine candidate got the right priorities. All right, then. Step forward, recruit. Let me have a word with you. I've got just one question. Do you pledge to defend the people of the Free Star Collective, even if it means risking your own life? Absolutely, Marshal. Good. Here, take these. You're now a Free Star Ranger deputy. I'm assigning you to Ranger Wilcox for some field training. Listen good to what she tells you. Welcome aboard, deputy. Congratulations. The Rangers ain't a bad outfit, and they're lucky to have you. Wish we could throw you a welcome party, but there's work to do. We got word from a farmer on Montero Luna. She says someone's trying to take her farm, and she's afraid she might be in danger. As far as the traits that I have, my traits are wanted. Um... Uh, kid stuff, and I can't remember the third. Well, it's a moon that orbits Montera. It's got a breathable atmosphere, warm climate, and good soil for growing. Just the name, Michaela Wagner. There have been Wagoners on Montera Luna for a long time, and I'm sure they're proud of that heritage. Well. Most things do at the start. Doesn't mean they stay that way. That being said, best not to assume anything. Just try to keep an open mind. Grab any supplies you might need, and let's get going. Pay attention to what Ranger Wilcox tells you. Deputy. Now you're messing with a son of a bear. Now you're messing with a son of a bear. Now we'll get to explore all this stuff later. We obviously don't have time right now. We're trying to continue the story a little bit because we really haven't done much story, which is why we're doing this now. Like, I don't even think I need to do that. I bet you I could literally travel to Wagger's farm. See? Look at that. I mean, the game just allows you to go wherever you want to go as quickly as possible. Please maintain your current course while we scan your ship. And that's it. You're cleared to land. I mean, so quick. Ready for touchdown. why they accepted that clipping that happens every single time. Again, she's gone, so she must not be able... She's not gone. She's standing on the bed. 
<laughs> so, so much for my theory of her being gone. She's back. See who comes with us now. That's the question. Yeah, she must not be allowed to come with us for whatever reason, I guess. Over here. Wow, this this place really does feel like it's the West here. The Free Star Rangers. You have no idea how happy I am to see you. I'm Ranger Emma Wilcox. My deputy and I are here to help. Now, tell us what happened. I was out planting in the fields when I saw some men approaching. They looked like soldiers with uniforms and weapons and such. They wanted to buy the farm. Didn't even ask if it was for sale. Their offer was so low, I told them right where they could stick it. They said they'd give me time to think about it, but if I didn't change my mind, I was going to regret it. Then they left. There were four, but when they were walking away, I heard them talking like there were others. Maybe there's more out there. Nothing I can think of, no. Truth is, we're in some hard times here. The last harvest was the worst we've had in a long time. Besides, it ain't like there's a lack of available land around here. That's right. The uniforms look like the ones worn by Free Star soldiers back during the war. They had a certain steel in their eyes. Like men who are used to violence. I was in fear for my life. Back behind the house, there's some canyons. They went that way. That place is dangerous. Steep slopes, narrow trails, rock slides, and all manner of hostile creatures, too. If you're going after those men, be careful. Oh, there's one other thing. They said they were the first. The first of what, I'm not sure. But there must be more of them coming. Thank you, ma'am. That should be enough for us to find these men. All right, deputy. Keep that weapon handy and your eyes sharp. Since these guys don't know we're after them, they're probably not making an effort to hide their tracks. Boot tracks. Several pairs by the look. Not too old either. Let's head down into the canyon and see if we can find more. Sidelines here are terrible. Anything could be ahead, or behind for that matter. These canyons would have kept me busy for months. I'd have looked into every nook and cranny. Time to open up. Get ready. Oh, shit.
Take the corresponding remedy to cure it. I don't see... I didn't see anything that I had in there that could have helped me with it. Good eye, deputy. Looks like we're heading in the right direction. Good stuff. Make the rest. Tough break from her. Hopefully whatever got them doesn't get us. Watch it! We're gonna teach you manners. There we go, 100% scanned. Nice. I haven't really been getting too much into this, so that's why I'm trying to kind of figure it out now. Just hope they're not perched up on these canyon walls, waiting to snipe at us. Are you celebrating something? come out of anywhere, don't they? Mm. 
nice to get out under the sky for a spell. Being a mother means I don't get as much field work as I used to. Oh, I didn't hit it in time. Dang it. Why does why does health have to be on on zero on the keyboard? That's like the worst place. I have to take my hand off the freaking mouse to do it. That's literally the worst. Oh, and I'm all the way back here, too. That's my bad. I mean, that's that's literally my fault. I could remap it, definitely. Cold go. Am I seeing Cole? Uh, he's disappeared. Definitely passed this way. Let's just hope they're not perched up on these cannon walls, waiting to snipe us. There he is. Okay. Nice to get out under the sky for a spell. Being a mother means I don't get as much field work as I used get to. Get ready! 
cat? The cat is moving my mouse around. I think we, we got her stuck there, I think. Uh, you okay? This ain't over. Not by a long shot. Can't waste not, need not. I gotta start doing this and scan stuff, right? Because that's something I really haven't focused on yet. Oh, shit. You're a natural tracker. Please tell me that was target practice. Still don't know how to dig that up. I'm, I'm guessing I need a specific weapon to dig it up. You smell that? I bet my badge that's wood smoke from a campfire. They're close. Be I need more. I've got two statuses now. Poisoning and acute, taking health damage, expends O2, melee attacks, use O2. I don't have what I think I need in order to eat it. I wish it would tell you. ahead. Stay frosty.
That's all you need to know. Now quit complaining and get back to your post. Well now, look who's here. Ms. Wagner called in the cavalry. <laughs> Except it ain't much of a cavalry. I suggest you turn around and walk away while you still can. A firefight here could get messy. Some good old-fashioned talking might be the ticket. Oh, it ain't exactly the farm that's special. But that ain't none of your business. Don't recognize the uniforms. Guess I shouldn't be surprised. It's like the Major said, everyone's conveniently forgotten. Forgotten our sacrifice. Forgotten how we were betrayed. We'll make them all remember soon enough. I promise you that. You think you're in a position to make demands. Well, I've got news for you. All you're getting from me is a shallow grave. So, got any last words I should try to remember? Oh, I think it does. We've been found out! Don't let him leave here alive! Alright, hold on. I wanna... Let's go! I wanna... Is there a way that I can persuade this? Put it in to persuade. Oh, that'd be so funny if I could just steal their ship. All right, so there's got to be a way to persuade, right? how they let you steal everything. Well now, look who's here. Ms. Wagner called in the cavalry. <laughs> I suggest you turn- A firefight here could get- Oh, it ain't- Don't recognize the- I don't think Guess we can get out of this fight. Forgotten. We'll make them all remember. Is that so? Well, we're mighty comfortable right where we are. What's more, we've got numbers. Seems to me you're playing with a weak hand. So, got any last words I should try to remember? If you think I give a damn about the Free Star Rangers, then you've got no idea who you're dealing with. Matter of fact, that just makes it even more fun. Air him out, boys! Yeah. We've been found out! Don't let him leave here alive!
felt like I was hitting him. For the glory of the first! I mean, I, I tried to, but it wouldn't let me, uh, it didn't give me the option to not take them out that way. Uh, are you okay? Not usually. Most of the bad guys we run into are smart enough to stand down when they see the badge. No way they're common thugs or hired muscle. The weapons, the training, the steel nerves. No, these guys were professionals. That badge with the number one, I feel like I've seen that before, but it was a long time ago. Really? Guess you've led a pretty exciting life. Maybe the less I know about that, the better. Let's search the area. Maybe we can find something that explains what these guys were up to. Hopefully, we can find something that explains who these guys were and why they were after the Wagoner farm. Hmm. Likewise. for some use. Here we go. Nice. We should check the place out. see inventory wise what I just got definitely not better so I'm gonna drop it did I get anything not really Happy to help shoulder this one. Or not. <laughs> Inaccessible? Come on. So we can't. Dang it. I was hoping we could steal that ship. My contact on the inside came through, and I've got your ship. Grabbed it right out of the factory. How embarrassing for Hope Tech. I'll drop it off at agreed upon location once the credits are in my account. If you need any other ships jacked, let me know. I'm always looking for work. some ugly looking trees. <laughs> Find anything interesting? Sure did. We're taking the ship. Let's see what we have here. Hmm. Interesting. So 
Their ship was stolen from the Hope Tech factory. Whoever pulled that off must have been one hell of a shipjacker. Well, I guess someone really wants that farm bad. Speaking of which, let's get back there and let Miss Wagoner know that she's safe. For now. Are you sitting here telling me <clears throat> that this ship is here and I literally can't do anything with it? Yeah, that's what you're telling me. <clears throat> I can't believe that's what you're telling me. I can't believe you're going to sit here and tell me that there's nothing that I can't get on this ship. Come on. That feels mean. Yeah, I'm stopping my stream so I can watch the Buckeyes game. Hopefully they're going to be good. We don't really know yet. What's the news? What happened? Did you find those men? Well, it's good to see you're all right then. They must have been crazy or desperate, trying to take on the Free Star Rangers. So who were they? And why do they want my farm? Hope Tech? The cargo ship company? Sorry, I don't know anything about that. They say the Rangers always get their man, so to speak. I'm sure you'll figure it out. I can't thank you enough. I'd hate to be remembered as the wagoner who couldn't hold on to the farm that's been in the family for so long. Of course. All the same, I'm grateful. If you have any more trouble, give us a call. We're in system, so it won't take long to get someone out here. All right, deputy. Let's get back to the rock. We need to report this to the marshal. Join the Free Star Rangers. I need polyexites. Ah, uh, sterile nanotube. Hmm. Hold on, I can track it. I need to track it. I need to track everything. Every mod I see on here, I need to make sure I've tracked. Offense is a good thing. Well, yeah, this is going to make it everything so much better, I think, if I just have everything. Remember, we've been keeping this one because this specific pack has been giving us like extra stuff that we've needed. So that's why I've been keeping essentially all of that. Like we can carry more things, the capacity 
boost pack. Yeah, I got to play a AC Mirage um, a few days ago. I played about two hours of it, so I'll have footage on that uh, coming soon to a theater near you. Understand why we couldn't steal that ship. I feel like that's a missed opportunity right there. And I don't know how to get all these afflictions off. How you doing? Tomorrow's stream is going to be significantly longer. Guess you do have to wait. You can follow it all the way, look. And there it goes. Sheesh. tell you anything about Mirage until I until I uh, until the embargo I'm sorry late one night Annie Wilcox tried to arrest me I'm proud to be helping the three star Rangers just making my way
What's the story on Montero Luna? That call we got from Wagoner Farm turned out to be a little more interesting than I was expecting. Some men were trying to run the Wagoners off the land. They tried to buy it first, but when that didn't work, they turned to threats. We confronted them, and unfortunately, it came to violence. None of them survived. You helped someone in need and came back alive. That's a job well done. For the time being, yes, but she could still be in danger. That's why we need to fill in some blanks. What did you make of these men who were trying to take the farm? If that's true, then someone must have hired them. Now, did you find anything that might give us a lead on why these men wanted the farm? Hope tech ships ain't exactly cheap. That thief could probably tell us a lot about these men you ran into. There's something else. They were dressed in Free Star Militia uniforms. The unit badge was yellow on black with the number one. They also said something about being forgotten. They seemed bitter about it. Resentful. Didn't you fight in the Colony War, Marshal? Any of that sound familiar? The First Cavalry. I was in that unit for a while, but it was disbanded decades ago, after the Battle of Nera. What was left of it, anyway. The war between the United Colonies and the Free Star Collective? Worst conflict the settled systems has ever seen. Each side unleashed terrible weapons on the other, and countless people died. The armistice uh, was signed 20 years ago. But a lot of folks still bear their scars. I suppose it ain't impossible, but it's real damn unlikely. The unit was pretty much wiped out, and the few that survived ended up in prison after a court-martial for disobeying orders. I don't recall how long the sentence was. The 1st Cavalry lost almost all their mechs and soldiers in a big push to take a United Colony's base. They were just about there when a ceasefire order came down. Both sides had just lost too much by then. It was a bloodbath. The commanding officer of the 1st disobeyed the order. He didn't want the lives of his soldiers to be sacrificed for nothing. They court-martialed him, and the rest of the surviving officers, and locked them all up. No, it doesn't. Just raises more questions. It's a good bet that starship thief can help us get some answers. The Hope Tech factory is in Hope Town on Polvo. Nia Kalu's our ranger stationed out there. She can introduce you to Ron Hope, the president of Hope Tech. He might be able to help you find the thief. Just make sure you stay on his good side. He's on the Council of Governors, and they're the ones we answer to. The ruling body that oversees the Free Star Collective and the Rangers. The council members are the political and corporate elite of the Free Star Collective. So we have to tread lightly when we're dealing with them. Proud, stubborn, and smart. A self-made man. He built Hope Tech through blood, sweat, and sheer willpower. Good. The last thing I need is the council breathing down my neck. This is your assignment now, deputy. Work with the other Rangers. Find out what you can about those men on Montero Luna. Meantime, I'll look into a possible connection with the 1st Cavalry. Good hunting. All right.
Hey, Splinter. Outside the wall, things get dicey. Asta are no joke. In for us. Tell Cora we're back. What is it? ship man wow look at this please tell me you're here to help not to try and steal my ship You need my help. Uh, I'd laugh if it didn't hurt so much. I was tracking a crew of outlaws that's been preying on merchant ships. Bastards got the drop on me. I ran them off, but they got a few good hits in. As you can see, I ain't in much shape to make repairs. No, no chance. They took as much of a beating as I did. While outnumbering me, three to one, I'd like to point out. Repair my ship? Please. Just patch her up enough to get to Hopetown. The rest can get fixed up there. Thanks. I owe you one. Rangers always got each other's back. Alright, so we need to repair her ship. And this is what one of our ships could look like eventually.
Thanks. That should get me home. You're right. They were pretty beat up, so I don't think they got real far. But if they make it back to their hideout, I might never find them again. We can't let that happen. Light armaments, not too fast. Pilots are gifted amateurs, but still amateurs. You'll be outnumbered, but they'll be damaged. Which should even things up for you. They look to be heading for Polvo's moon Miatha. Good hunting. Ouch. That did. didn't go well. No, that did not. <laughs> This is not going to be easy. There's only so much we can do. I mean, our ship's not the bestest. Are you okay, Dad? You look tired. Yeah, you're sweet to worry, darling. I'm all right. Your dad's just not as young as he used to be. Toast. Dude, this is hard. The voice acting is great. This is really, really tough to do. Um. Leave no one alive! Dad, what does superfluous mean? I just read it in my book. It means, uh, more than enough. As in, Coraco has a superfluous amount of books. <laughs> no! I won't have more than enough until I have a super duper fluous amount of books. You took out that jump drive.
Hey, and, oh my god, I, I don't like. I'm down. That's a, I know, I need to remap some stuff because having the repair button on O just is the worst idea. Who on earth thought that would be a good idea? <laughs> we got ourselves a mark. actually quite tough, man. Woo! Obviously, we're going to need to get a better ship. Our space. We're going to do a quick scan for contraband, and you can be on your way. And that's it. You're cleared to land at Hopetown. Nice and tough. Ready to land. Took me a few times there. And we have some good weapons. Getting used to how the thrusters work and everything is something gonna take a little time too. I think one man made all of this. Nothing was here until we're on home. All right, so I don't want to hear it. It's great to see you. It's another big city. was literally nothing until Ron Hope came here. All right, Adela. Deep breath. <sighs> oh, God. <laughs> I'm just great. Grand, really. When I signed on to be a freight captain, I was expecting long hours and dull routes. And now I'm a hair away from being executed. Or worse. You are sincerely the answer to my prayers. So, I fly a rust bucket called the Markab for a small shipping line. Just started, really. We do bulk shipping, boring stuff like actuators and seed stock and minerals. Have you ever had a standard boring job just blow up in your face?
a week ago, I would have said something different. But yes, absolutely. So I just got assigned to the Markov. The first shipment, slag steel. Nothing special. As soon as I left Neon and got scanned, things got crazy. Spacers, Freestar security, the works. Everyone demanding I power down, hand over the contraband, or sometimes just firing first. I skipped the system, ditched the cargo, and have been running ever since. I don't know. I was just flying for my life. But some bad people want it. It gets even worse. A tracker just landed, and I just know he's hunting a bounty. Me. But the trick is, everyone knows the ship. But my info isn't in the database yet. All they got is my last name, Fahim. So if you go into the pit stop and claim you're Captain Fahim of the Markab, maybe you can deal with the tracker? A member of the Tracker's Alliance. You know, bang bang, dead or alive, bounty hunters? I don't know. I don't want anyone to get hurt. But he may not give you any choice. The company is, well, <laughs> a real train wreck. I'm amazed they even have my last name on file. For once, working for such a dump is a good thing. You are the best! This slate has everything they know about me. It's not much. He's the one with the cowboy hat. Just stay safe. Thank you. Yes. I'm new in town. You look like you just got here too, right? What's your name, stranger? I buy you a drink. A little of this, a little of that. I like to keep busy. Friends call me Ernesto. Actually, everyone does. Because it's my name and all. And you? Fahim, huh? Came in on that ship to Markab? I bet you didn't know it. But I'm a tracker. And I'm here for your bounty. Two ways this can go. You know the drill. Bounty says you made off with a haul of medical supplies. Meant for orphans. Or something. I get a bonus if I turn the shipment inside on sea. I figure they're in the markup. Looks like a place that doesn't mind some color. Or you can surrender. I trank you up, deliver you, they kill you. Nobody ever picks that option. I don't deal with smugglers and no good types. Well, I do, but more violent lines. My words, my bond. So you didn't shoot your way off Neon Fahim? The bounty is pretty damn clear. But something don't sit right with me. Not sure what. Maybe... Maybe not. The bounty is awfully large for what they're saying. All right, I'm not taking you in. But that just means somebody else will. Whatever you were shipping, you got to return it. The next tracker probably won't be as upstanding as I am. Whatever you say, Fahim. You almost sound believable. One more drink and it's liftoff. 
All right. Well, that's success. We did it. Yes. What? As vital as spaceships. Are. That's pretty cool. This can't. Why did I ever take this job? Why? I mean, maybe. At my sixth birthday, the theme was unicorns. Sorry, bad joke. I feel like I can finally breathe again. Thank you. I'm gonna try very hard to disappear. You think? I mean, of course they will. Oh God. I don't mean to be ungrateful and all, but I really, really need to go. Thank you. All right, easy, simplistic mission, and it was kind of fun. Okay, hello. Keep an eye on your valuables. If you can't protect your own, you don't belong here. You made it. Those outlaws didn't give you too much trouble, I trust? I can walk, talk, and breathe without too much pain. That's good enough for me. Good. I'm sure it didn't hurt that I softened him up for you. You've got good timing. A courier just came in from Aquila. The Marshal sends his regards along with a briefing on your case. I was surprised as hell to learn about the Starship theft. Nobody said a word to me about it. Anyway, Mr. Hope can see us whenever you're ready. If you need to take a little time first, feel free. No, and I can't get answers as to why not. I'm sure Mr. Hope has his reasons. His office is upstairs. He's in a meeting, but it should be wrapping up. Come on. Trucks in space. <laughs> Their motto always cracks me up. Just want to get all these out. All those, all those. The council oversees the Free Star Rangers, so don't rile them up. I've spent a long time trying to build a good relationship with Hope. <laughs> he comes on a little strong, but there's a lot to admire about the man. Everything you see around you, he built. Pretty much everyone in this town owes him for their the kind of pressure that must put on someone. All I'm saying is, try to show a little respect. All the way up. Is it just me, or does every executive in the settled systems have an office on the top floor? Uh, I guess being above everyone makes them feel like they're, well, <laughs> above everyone. decision that's got to be made upstairs. Hmm. Well, talk to Elaine about the scavengers. It's not a bad idea, provided we get a good deal. And I don't mean a fair deal. I mean a good deal. Remember, it's not just our bottom line that matters. We're also responsible for the welfare of everyone in the factory. We look out for our people here, Birchett. That's a point of great personal pride. Um, excuse me, uh, Mr. Hope? Well now, the Free Star Rangers. At last! <laughs> ah, damn, good to see you here. I think we're done here, Burchett. Yes, sir. This is the deputy I told you about. Splendid. Splendid! It's a noble calling, being a Free Star Ranger. Mm, we certainly could use more of you.
Well, if he wasn't right there, I would have I tried to talk to him while sitting down. It might have been more realistic, but since he's standing right there, I really Let's can't. It, shall we? Time is money. I'm sure I don't have to tell you what an outrage it is to have a ship stolen right out of the factory. <sighs> Justice must be done, and the sooner the better. Results, deputy. Results speak louder than promises. I want the thief found and prosecuted to the full extent of the law. I'm sure I don't need to remind you of my position on the Council of Governors. I'm glad we understand each other. I take Ron Hope over Benjamin Bayou any day of the week. Looks like we got a job to do. Now, tell me that you've at least got a lead of some kind. Hmm? Well, I can't say I'm surprised. Sadly, there's no lack of mercenaries in the settled systems. I suppose the chance to cut costs by stealing a ship was too good to pass on? Well, I'm not sure I can be much help, but I'll answer whatever questions I can. No, nothing at all. It was just a, a standard Hope Tech cargo hauler. Not that it didn't have great value, mind you. Hope Tech build some of the most durable and reliable starships in the settled systems. Now you can bet my ships last twice as long as anything Stroud Eklund makes. We questioned everyone who was in the building when it happened, and not one person seems to have seen anything at all. Frankly, I think that's both highly unlikely and more than a little suspicious. However, I can't deny there are times when the hangar is empty, so it's not inconceivable the thief could have slipped in unseen. What? Nonsense! We vet our people thoroughly here. Hope Tech holds its employees to the very highest standards. Nevertheless, I suppose I could have Cosette conduct a, a thorough personnel review. Rest assured, if we turn up any evidence that one of our people was an accomplice, I'll let you know. Because I told them not to. If word got out, it would do irreparable harm to our image. I'm in fierce competition with other Starship manufacturers. Any sign of weakness could be fatal. Uh, what's more, every starship thief in the settled systems would, would likely flock to Hopetown and start planning the next heist. Very well. I need you to understand something, Deputy. This town is home to men, women, and children who depend on Hope Tech for a living. I provide jobs that put food on their tables and a roof over their heads. It's a responsibility that I take very seriously. If word gets out about the stolen ship, my investors will lose trust, and my workers will pay the price. I can't allow that. You've got a reputation for looking after your own, Mr. Hope. I'm sure the deputy here will keep that in mind. Is that so? Well, I'm glad to hear it. I've worked hard to make sure that everyone here is well cared for. I'm glad we understand one another. I'm sorry to interrupt, Mr. Hope, but there's been a development. Not now, Cosette. I'm in the middle of something. But, sir, we have new information. 
I've just received a report that the stolen ship was seen landing at Neon just after the fact. Any changes on the next order? A breakthrough at last. Well, deputy, it sounds like you'll be heading to Neon. Which means I can get back to work. Remember what we discussed. My people are depending on you. Hey, can I get a word? Dust except for the factory. That wasn't as helpful as it could have been. Still, at least you know where to pick up the trail. Let's hope. So, guess you're headed for Neon. There's a ranger station there. Name's Jalen Price. He's a little different than the rest of us. But a Neon's a different kind of place. He's what I'd call a pragmatist. He sees things for what they are. He's also well-connected, which means a lot on Neon. You should listen to what he tells you. It'll keep you out of trouble. Well, we could talk for an hour about that. The short version would be that crime, law, and justice don't exactly mean the same things there. The badge doesn't carry the same weight on Neon, so you might have to get creative. Good. That should help you avoid any unnecessary complications. Well, we've both got work to do. It was good to meet you, Deputy. Thanks again for helping me out up there. I'll be taking it easy for a couple of days. Need time to heal up. Then, I need to get back up there and keep an eye out for more pirates. I'm hoping to track one of their ships so I can find their hideout. Guess we could both use a little luck, huh? Yeah, the question of who helped the starship thief is still an open one. Don't you worry. I'll keep an ear to the ground. You be careful and kneel. Okay, there we go. We are headed to Neon, everybody. Neon, for those of you that don't know, is specifically... the place um where it's more like uh cyber oh, cyberpunk good ever comes from. so I know this is going to be something that's going to be pretty exciting keep it holstered and we'll get along fine to go to hey game and fanatic workers like to play hard here they deserve it. Ron hopes it now, hero. You should inspect your ship for heat leeches every couple landings. Need some work done? Let's I'm see sure what you ships you like. they have at this place. They probably have some really expensive ones, yeah. 258 thou for that. One hundred and four. Sixty six. And Shackletown. That core has already finished the pre-flight checklist. That's my girl. Uh oh, she's gone again. Where does she go? There she is. She's up here. What can I help you with? All right, we're headed to Neon. Nice. Then we have traveled to all of the the main cities. 
in gaming it comes and goes it's not really something that um, locked in it's not really something that I think I mean it, it comes and goes you know sometimes it can get boring sometimes it can be overwhelmed like I've, I've had those moments as well so I can completely understand hear me loud enough over everything else I hope welcome to the free star collective because uh, I want to make sure you guys can still hear me good scan your ship scan complete go ahead and land it's time to go to neon I believe this is a uh, maybe a city in the clouds or something? I'm not sure, actually. We're gonna find out. Landing struts primed. Retro's firing. Awesome, thank you. Yet. You're in the middle of something important. All right, let's get back to that bank vault. I guess you can't take them both. I don't understand why you can't take them both. Wow. There's Neon. Now I want to see cuz right we're like in the we're on like a platform a race platform or something. Okay, so we're we're above the ocean. You want to look for scale wise. Man, that looks huge. Might as well find out what ship services we got here. Hey, what can I Crazy, terrible, but never I'm sure you can out. find something you like. Alright, so these are the ships we have here. 65,000. I like that. Crew is up by one. Weapons aren't as good. The Falcon. Mustang. Kefir, kefir. And the war horse. Yeah, I can see where it kind of reminds you of an oil rig or something like that, but it's just a huge, huge city. Well, um, most of the action we've done was in the last part because we've been continuing the story, and this is still pretty early in the story. There's nothing in the settled systems quite like Neon. Crazy, terrible, but never dull Neon. Sniffers picked up the Aurora you're carrying the second you step through. All right, get up slowly and turn around. Try to run, and we open fire. So, 
What was the plan, Nesha? Smuggle the Aurora into Aquila City or New Atlantis? No, no, I just forgot I was carrying it, is all. Honest mistake, right? this right here I can pay the usual we don't make the rules that's administrator Bayo's job now shut up and start walking move it let's go Catherine Luzion keeps demanding we look into her husband's murder murder yeah right hysterical old broad new job I'm just so I love it how the, the characters, the, all the NPCs, they're doing stuff, you know? Are you working toward that? Here it is. This is Neon. Ryujin Industries help you get there. Fill out an application today to become part of the most advanced technology corporation in the set. We're going to do that a little bit later. I think that'd be pretty cool. I heard that this is like a corporate type of job. So another type of side missions that you can get into as well. Look at this place. This is awesome. Kuchi's a lot of fun. I even bring Cora here every now and then. I don't care who you work for. You can't just... Oh, you're the rookie, aren't you? The one and only. Well, the Marshal's message said you were following a lead about a stolen ship. Truth is, a lot of stolen goods flow through here. But this city is real good at keeping its secrets. Even from us. You can count on my help if you play by the rules. This isn't Aquila City. The badge doesn't carry the same weight here. The people who run this place aren't overly concerned about the law. Our job is to keep the peace and make sure the violence doesn't get out of hand. The last thing anyone around here wants is some hotshot deputy looking in every dark corner. Neon's a tough, tough assignment. The ecosystem is rigged against any real law enforcement. That would be Benjamin Bayou. He's out to squeeze every credit he can from the people of this city. He doesn't much care who gets hurt in the process. He's also got a seat on the Council of Governors, which proves that if you've got enough credits, you can buy anything you want. Good. That's a smart play. As much as it rankles. Your stolen ship would have had to land at the spaceport. If it was right off the factory floor, it would have stood out. There's a guy I know, Billy Clayton, does maintenance work around the city and keeps an eye on ship traffic for me. I'll introduce you, but don't expect a favor. Even if it doesn't cost credits, nothing in Neon is free. Believe it or not, yeah, it was. My mother's an executive with Ryujin, so I grew up here. I volunteered for this post as much to keep the other rangers out of trouble as any other reason. If some hotshot rookie took this job and started flashing the badge everywhere, it wouldn't end well. Nah, I've got friends in high places, so to speak. I'm the son of a Ryujin Industries executive. Maybe you've heard of her? Name's Alexis Price. There's a sort of fragile peace here in Neon. It's better for everyone if the syndicates and the corporations coexist with minimum friction. Stay out of people's business until you can. not Be willing to let the small stuff slide. Don't break up a fight unless it's getting out of hand. Most of all, don't assume that badge will protect you. Of course, Neon's full of desperate people who have nowhere else to turn. For some, it's the drugs. For others, it's gambling. 
There are a lot of ways to lose everything in this city. My rule is simple. If someone brought it on themselves, then I don't get involved. From what I've seen, people who learn from their mistakes are not common. Come on. That was pretty impressive how you volunteered to help out with the bank heist in Aquila City. Yeah, I read all the reports. You learned quickly that a Neon staying informed and staying alive are closely linked. What stood out to me was that you didn't lose a single hostage. No wonder the Marshal tried to recruit you right away. If he hadn't, it would have made him look like a fool having some random stranger step in and do the job he couldn't. Now, if someone tried to hold up a bank here, they'd be gunned down without a moment's hesitation. Hostages or not, there are two things you don't do in Neon. One, you don't mess with Bayes. In the middle of talking and then, <laughs> and then leaves. <laughs> you understand that, don't you? That's why you just told me that you won't cause trouble. Keep that in mind, and you'll fit right in. I don't like how I have to keep doing this just to stay up with him. The colors. You talk to my colors. colors. They don't cover that kind of thing. I used to be actually. Now look at me. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I think I need to talk to a lawyer. I wish we could match as fast as they're going. This place is huge, though. Hey, Billy, you got a second? What? Oh, it's you. Give me a good scare. I thought you were one of good people. Sure. Far from it. Our new deputy here is working a case, and I thought you might be able to help. Take it away, rookie. What do you need? Huh. A stolen Hope Tech ship, huh? Well, here's the thing. Neon's got no end of shipjackers. I see them come and go every day. It's tough for a guy to remember one from the other. You know what I mean? I can see where this is going. Yeah, well, I'm one of them. I can help you. But right now my life is in danger and I haven't even done anything wrong. Freestar Rangers are supposed to protect the innocent, right? All right, I admit I've got a bad habit or two. Look, I know your time is valuable. Here's a few credits for your trouble. Now, if you'll just hear me out for a second. I really need your help. It's about my brother. He died while still in debt to a syndicate loan shark by the name of Emmett Goodman. Now, Goodman's coming after me to collect. He says if I don't pay up, I'm a dead man. This Emmett Goodman sounds like a real class act. <sighs> yeah. He's bad even by neon standards. <laughs> and that's saying something. The only one that matters around here. The Sayoka Syndicate. They pretty much run the city. But that being said, Rumor has it that Emmett Goodman is on the outs, so they might not miss him much if he were to disappear. I swear it on my best set of wrenches. 
Goodman's holed up in one of the warehouses on Ebside. Place is locked up tight, but there's a guard who watches the door, and he's got the key. I'll stay with Billy in case Goodman's men come to collect. They're not stupid enough to tangle with me. Alright, looks like we're already getting into it, huh? So far, I like this city. My investments really took a pounding last quarter. I hope the market stabilizes. You got that right. This is private property. You'd better keep walking. This is private property. Do you? You're not getting through. Hmm. Yeah, I hope so. Absolutely not. Uh, maybe you've got hearing problems. I. Hey, that's why we've. <laughs> That's why we've got this, so we can do this right. You got that right. You lost? You'd better keep walking. This is private property. Do you now? I hear you. Maybe need to think about it. Sorry, but I can't. Uh, maybe you've got hearing problems. I okay, um... I felt like I was close. Look, there's one of the photos I took. You got that right. So I have the first two down. Business with this You'd better keep... Do you now? I'm glad you understand the position I'm in here. Oh, finally! Someone who gets it! You go in, talk to the man, and then you come right back out. Try anything stupid, and it's your funeral. Yeah, this will get you in. Get out of my face! A new customer, perhaps? Well now, always happy to have a visitor. Tell me, what brings you by, friend? Little light on credits, are you? Little light on credits, are you? Ah, oh, it's awful kind of you to intervene on my behalf. But I think I have the matter well in hand. Thank you all the same for your concern. I can't tell if he's kidding or not. If you're attempting to appeal to my good nature, you're proceeding under a false premise. You see, in my line of work, it doesn't exactly pay to be soft. What's your stake in this anyway?
Well, I'm afraid that's just none of my concern. Then offer me something I want, and I'll consider it. Well, you got something, and something's better than nothing. Seems Dang to it. me like you're a long way from Aquila City. No need to lose your cool. Oh, that works. Maybe uh, I should let you walk out of here then. You come walking in here drunk on your dang. Time. This one's a little tougher. Well, now, look here. Well, now, always happy. Tell me, what brings you? Ah, oh, it's awful kind. Thank you all the same. I can't tell if he's cute. Well, that's where you're wrong. Cal agreed to my terms. It ain't my fault he dragged. What's your stake in? Well, I'm afraid. Then offer me something. That is true. Let's just calm down now. I know all about that. Well, that's easy to promise, but I ain't sure you can deliver on what you're suggesting. You come Dang. walking in here. Oh drunk. my God, we were so close. Something I can do for you, friend. Well, now. Tell me what brings. Ah, it's awful. Thank you, all this. I can't tell if he's kidding. Well, if you're attempting to, you see, in my life, what's yours? To... Well, I'm afraid. Then offer me something. Ain't no need for that. How much time you've got isn't my problem. Well, there's no need to bring the other rangers into this. Don't ah. worry, deputy. Dang, 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 dang. <laughs> Oh man, it's this this persuasion system is tougher than it looks because Well now, look here. Well now. Oh tell me what brings you. Ah, oh, it's awful. Thank you, all. I can't tell if he's if you're attempting to you see in my life, what's your stake? Well, I'm afraid. Then offer me something I want, and I can Well, there's no need to bring the other rangers into this. Just relax now. I'm listening, aren't I? Well, I suppose yes. I could make an exception. It's just this once, you understand. 
Uh, just promise me you'll keep my compassionate nature a secret. Uh, folks might try to take advantage. Boom, son. <laughs> he took three or four times. It seems like with him, you just needed to be like, he didn't want to fight. And so that's all it took. You better watch it. I don't know if I can handle a haul. If I have to eat fish for dinner one more time, I have a chance to experience So, how are you? Everything good? Where are you trying to tell me to go? I think I was literally in the right spot, but then it told me to go in a different direction. Dang it, no. It's not that I don't like helping them. It's the optics of it. Too bad I can't squeeze the aurora of this fish. And then it stops right here. I don't know where in the heck I need to go. This. They need to fix this system. It what? There we go. They need to fix that system, man. Kind of like disappear on you, not. Give you the right way. So I got some news for you. My partner. Lover over at Kelko. She's too good for Neo. Sounds like she's trying to help someone or something. Did you talk to Goodman? Yeah. I figured he wouldn't want to make an enemy of the Freestar Rangers. Glad the badge still means something around here. Hmm. The Syndicate doesn't worry all that much about the Rangers. I think our new deputy here is just a real smooth talker. Okay. Time for me to keep my end of the bargain. The woman you're looking for is named Grace Early. Stealing ships is her line of work. She usually comes here to sell the goods. Rumor has it she just finished a job for some mercenary outfit. She's been throwing money around, so it must have paid well. I know her. When she isn't out on a job, she's a regular at Madame Sauvage's. That's on the upper platform. I'll back you up. All right. Well, ladies and gents, that's going to be it for today. I'm off to watch my house state Buckeyes, so I hope you guys enjoyed. Remember, we're going to be streaming this over the next two weeks. So lots of streams, so much content that you're going to see. Just try to watch what you can, and uh, I hope you guys are enjoying. Thanks again to our sponsor, Elizabeth Vaughn. Please check out the link in the description to check out some of her books. It really, really, really helps the channel, and please let me know if you do check those out because uh, it. the way we can talk about them. 
So awesome. Love you all. Take care of yourselves. Thanks again to Bethesda for providing the code and I will see you on the next stream. Peace.